I'm self-motivated. Um, I'm determined. Once I have my mind focused, um, nothing can distract me. I'm open to learning new things. I'm willing to listen to anybody who has uh, common sense. I think being self-motivated helps me at my job because I'm gonna keep working to perfect whatever I'm doing. Like if you give me a mission, I'm gonna work as hard as I can to accomplish that. And I wanna do whatever I'm doing better than anybody else has done before me. I started here at Hopkins when I was 19. I was a year removed from high school. Um, I started out in environmental services. I worked there for five and a half years before moving on to become a surgical tech in the OR. And I've been scrubbing now for nine years. Now in the beginning, when I first started, I used to go home at night and study everything. I wanted to perfect my craft. I wanted to make sure that I was not the weak link during the surgery, so I would study as soon as I left the building. I would read my textbooks and go online and look at the procedures. Coming to the operating room, uh, doing some of the intense or uh, very uh, delicate operations that we do in neurosurgery, Ed makes it easy. He knows his job, I know my job. When I come to the operating room in the morning, I see that Ed's gonna be in my room, I just relax and I, I can focus. Working with each other every day and doing the cases, same cases over and over for the past nine years, I can pretty much anticipate every step that he's going to take during this procedure. You know, he trained here. He, he knows the Hopkins system. It's familial. It's, it's a family for him. It's easy. I started working here when I was 19. Now I'm 30, I'll be 34 the 25th of May. So I pretty much I've grown up up here. I have like a long-standing relationship with a lot of the doctors around here because I met them early in their training and now I, I watch them graduate. So it's like watching a child grow up. This position has opened up a lot of doors for me. I've, I've seen a lot and I've done a lot and I'm actually the one from my neighborhood who actually made it out. So like all of my friends, they took a different route so whenever we see each other, they hold me with high praise. It's like I'm the golden child. I'm the one who actually made it out of the neighborhood. There's some good opportunities here. It's up to the individual to take advantage of them. Hopkins is what you make it. If you come in and you have limited education, okay, they got diploma programs. And then if you want to go to college and enter into some program, you can move forward with that after that. It's like you'll both benefit from it. Like they get another person at this position and you get a job. So it's like your partners. It's very rewarding to go home and know that you help save a life or you help make a child's situation better. Um, and this is every day. Um, like I don't take it for granted at all. And I didn't know nothing about this when I was in environmental services. I said I was going to make this work no matter what it was. I, I could not pass up that opportunity. My name is Edward McKay Jr. I'm a surgical technician here at Johns Hopkins. I promise that you will get my undivided attention. There will be no distractions. I promise you the best health care when I'm in the room. <laughs>